Yeah, welcome to the class. Okay. Uh, today, uh, let's uh, uh, come to the chapter seven. Uh, this topic uh, is very important for an international manager uh, because you need to consider uh, what your company will pay for you to go global. Okay. So in this chapter. Uh, we will talk about this uh, global uh, remuneration uh, in the multinational company. Uh, uh, in this uh, topic, uh, we will uh, include uh, two parts. Right? Uh, one is the uh, compensation and benefit for international aligning. aligning. Uh, it's international manager. If you are assigned uh, to work abroad, yeah you will consider your compensation and your benefit okay and we'll talk about this uh, global uh, compensation and the benefit management and it uh, will cover the issue of the uh, compensation for local uh, uh, compensation and the benefit for local uh, employee and local talent okay so in the uh, global the, this global compensation and benefit the issue uh, a distinction is made between the global uh, remuneration and uh, international aligning's uh, compensation. Okay, uh, this uh, global um, remuneration deal with the uh, compensation and benefit uh, structure for employee of the ME uh, in various uh, locations subsidiary around the world. It's, uh, it means that no, ma uh, no matter where you go, okay. Uh, the company, multinational company, sure uh, had this um, motiv uh, motivation uh, for you to go. Okay, so uh, this motivation may come from this uh, financial compensation. Yeah. So uh, if uh, you are, are working in China and one day they uh, inform you to go to uh, the Middle East, uh, will you go? Yeah, you will consider. Yeah, what's the Compensation policy of your company. Yeah, uh, we we eat uh, with your uh, compensation uh, will uh, in, uh, increase or not? Okay. So if a uh, multinational company want to motivate its internet major uh, to go any uh, country uh, to work there, yeah, they need to consider what's their compensation policy. Uh, for example, uh, one uh, very famous uh, company, the uh, uh, bank, uh, bankist. Uh, this company, is, uh, uh, they uh, manufacture, produce the um, the, the detergent, right? the detergent uh, cleaner. Okay, this uh, the washing cleaner uh, in in your uh, kitchen, uh, in your uh, washing machine. Okay. And they are the, the most uh, famous uh, product of this company is the the this uh, air freshman, air freshman, uh, not only uh, in house but also in car, right? Okay, you need this uh, uh, fresh air freshman. Okay, and this there are uh, four hundred international manager uh, work for for him and. All these uh, internet major come from uh, 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 50, right, 50 country and uh, work in 60 uh, country. So how to motivate all their internet manager uh, to work in any uh, country? Uh, they need to uh, a very good motivate, uh, motivating uh, uh, compensation policy. So. Uh, 60%, 60% of the compensation of internet major come from the basic salary, basic salary. So no matter where you go, okay? At least you at least 60% uh, of the, you are, uh, the basic salary. However, uh, you are assigned uh, to go uh, China or uh, United States or uh, African country, yeah, they, uh, it, your, uh, some of your pay come from your performance, 
performance. Yeah. It depends on uh, uh, how much uh, how much you perform, uh, especially in terms of the new product sale, new product sale. Because the company want to compete in the global market, so it always launch the new product. So international major need to uh, increase this the new product share. Okay, so. Uh, if you can increase the new product share, you can uh, uh, get your uh, pay for performance almost 40% uh, uh, to 140% uh, uh, of your basic salary. Your basic salary. So think about it, right? Very, very uh, it's a very good uh, motivation. Uh, if you can have a good performance, you can uh, get more. Even you can uh, get a double of your uh, colleague, yeah. And also, this company uh, provided uh, stock option, stock option. So you will take care of the the whole, right? The whole uh, profit, the whole the whole, the whole company's uh, profit, yeah. And also, uh, th this company will cover international managers. Uh, 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 children's uh, tuition uh, because when you are dying uh, to work in China yet yeah, you will uh, you will find the uh, international school right for your children for your children and this company this one company will cover will cover their uh, children's uh, uh, tuition yeah so this international design in compensation deal with the compensation and benefit of global uh, mobile employee. Okay, yeah. so if uh, one day uh, the, the if a boss ask you, uh, uh, would, would you go uh, to China? <laughs> you should consider what's the <laughs> compensation policy. Okay, and. How an modern company uh, cope with this uh, a compensation and benefit issue tend to be a function of the company's overall reward strategy. Yeah, its reward strategy, its level of international development, and its corporate culture, and other talent management element in the HR, uh, such as the competency management, performance management, training and development, and deployment. It means that. Uh, in terms of this uh, international uh, compensation, yeah, it's related to the company's uh, uh, reward strategy, its uh, international development, corporate culture, and talent management uh, practices. You know, uh, 20 years ago, uh, Master Khan, Master Khan, you know Family Ma? Right? This company it's a small company in Taiwan, right? However, after 20 minutes, uh, sorry, 20 years, the company become the, the top one food company, drinking company, yeah, and the convenience store, uh, uh, convenience store chain uh, in China, the number one, right? Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Think about it. A small company in Taiwan. Only 100 employees in Taiwan. Right, 20 years ago, when this company uh, went to China, invest there, how come after 20 years, right, the share right, grew 1,000 times, okay, and become the number one food company? Think about China, right? Very big population. Uh, company, a uh, country, right? How come this company can get so successful? Uh, think about it. Mm -hmm. What happened? Uh, originally, only 100 employees in Taiwan. Okay. So, uh, who created uh, this? Uh, uh, this outcome. Hmm? Who created this outcome? 
Singapore is eh? one thousand times growth within the twenty years in China. Become the number one food company, number one drinking company. Okay, and one number one convenience store. Yeah. How do you think? The reason why they became yeah yeah maybe because there were no any other convenience stores. I mean, Chinese uh, Chinese. in China. And I think they were more focused on Taiwan than in China. Seven Eleven. Mm -hmm. In that time, many years ago, and China was yeah more yeah fast. yes yes yeah yeah sure, but. Yeah, yeah. You, you talk about the environment, right? Yeah. The, the because the economy in, in China grow, right? Uh, grow very uh, rapidly. Yeah. But how come not other not pre, uni president? You know, you know, uni president, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, at that time, twenty years ago, uni president is the number one for company in Taiwan, right? But Master Kang. Is the small company in Taiwan. So how come Master Kang can just this uh, success? Uh, maybe they were reinvesting their their money all the time, trying to expand as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. in China. Yes, you should think about uh, food, right? Who can create all this uh, outcome, right? Mm -hmm. Who? Only one, only the boss himself? No. Surely not, right? Mm -hmm. But how come Uni President have many managers, right? At that time, right? But uh, Master Kang, no. So, yeah, what's the reason? You know, can you imagine? Hmm? But the region, if you, <laughs> yeah, you, you think about this issue, right? Hmm. Why? Why? Huh? Any idea? Hmm? Do you know? First, Master Kang need to need to recruit many manager work for him, right? Okay. When you increase the your your market share, right? You need more and more international manager work for you, right? Especially when the market grow, right, very rapidly. You need more and more international work for you, and all these uh, manager, most of these are. Uh, uh, a uh, capable manager not come from not not from local right because they don't have any working experience right <coughs> so they need to recruit right recruit and motivate right motivate uh, this uh, international manager work for them work for for, for master come right yeah so how to uh, Recruit, recruit and attract attract this uh, manager uh, most of them is Taiwanese uh, manager they they had uh, many years uh, working experience in Taiwan right so so they know how to uh, help this company right to increase uh, its uh, market share right to meet the market need right okay yeah uh, I think the corporate culture very important. Corporate culture because uh, Master Kang had this entrepreneurial, uh, entrepreneurial culture, right? So ten years ago, when Uni President encouraged their manager to work, uh, to move and work in China, nobody like to go because they are very. They are very comfortable, right? In Taiwan, right? Comfortable in Taiwan, and they are number one 
Number one in Taiwan. So they don't want to go. Right? They don't want to go. Got it? And think about this. 20 years ago, what's the situation? Uh, it's the, the tough, the tough situation in China. Right? So think about uh, the situation in Taiwan. Very comfortable in Taiwan. Would you go? Right? How about your family? Right? How about your children? Nobody let to go. <laughs> Nobody let go. So, this compensation policy is very important. Okay? So, at that time, uh, Master Kong uh, attract the Taiwanese manager to work for him. Uh, by means of this uh, uh, international compensation policy. Uh, first, the salary is double. Okay, double of Taiwan. Right. And second, it uh, will cover all the children's uh, tuition in international school, China. Uh, think about this. Right? Very expensive. Every year, every year, need twenty thousand US dollar. Right? Every year, a lot of time. So, would you cover it? <laughs> May I ask um, what the? I know the political situation twenty years ago between Taiwan and China, but how was it for Taiwanese to live there? Without persecution, or um, could you travel freely in and out? Yeah, 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 yeah. At that time, because uh, China, you know, want to, uh, you, you know, want to, uh, yeah, to be united, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, Taiwan, with Taiwan, yeah. So encourage the Taiwanese company to invest there, especially, uh, you know, the Tiananmen Square event, yeah. So nobody, no company, no more company want to go there at that time. Uh, so only Taiwanese company, and most of the company, company are manufacturing company, right? They will employ employment many in a workforce, workforce. Yeah. So China, uh, they encourage you to go. Mm -hmm. So this is very important, right? At that time, many many big company want to invest in China. Yes, that time. But when they ask their manager, nobody would like to go. Right. But the first question is, uh, how about my family? <laughs> how about my children? Okay. Can you cover their tuition? Study there? Right. Enter the internet school? Oh, it's so expensive, right? Right. Every year, 20, you know, 20,000 US dollars at that time. Twenty thousand. Eat <laughs> one child. How about two? How about two? How about two? Right? Very very expensive. Okay. So. Hmm. But yeah, Master Kang can cover. He said, "Yeah, please come to me. And not only cover your tuition, your uh, children's." Uh, uh, tuition, but also they build, they build the, the and uh, village, right? A village, a village. Yeah, uh, many uh, 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 many uh, uh, apartment, right? And provide all the the housing, right? The all, the, all take care of their. The house, their housing uh, need, and take care of their, uh, their every day's uh, uh, daily need, right? Okay. They hire the housekeeper to do the cleaning uh, work, right? For their internet manager, and and the very good cooker, right? To cook for them, yeah. Yeah, so it's very important, right? Very important. And when uh, when the market 
when their share grow, uh, the perform the performance that is a, a merit pay right will increase uh, for them, and they and most of them had the stock option. They they can the profit share. Okay, profit share. So at that time, uni president cannot uh, offer this uh, good compensation for their manager at that time. Okay. So I would like to say, yeah, this is uh, very important for your international compensation policy. If we want to uh, uh, win uh, in the global market, encourage the, your manager to can work abroad, okay? So the main uh, objective for the typical M&E Global uh, Compensation and Benefit Program include attraction and retention of the best qualified talent to staff the M&E, right? Yeah. Can you? Yeah. It's terrible now. You know, many China company, they acquire Taiwan needs RD, <laughs> RD talent, right? With the five times salary, five times salary <laughs> to acquire Taiwanese RD professional. Okay, you know Huawei, right? Huawei, this is the number one, number one communication, right? Equipment company in the world now, Huawei. They attract many Taiwanese uh, hardy professional workers. Okay, so by means of their compensation policy, attraction and retention of employees who are qualified for international assignment, assignment, right? Uh, if you can move, yeah, I will uh, reward you and. Facilitation of the transfer between the various employment locations within the ME. Yeah. No matter where you, you go, yeah. The compensation part motivate. Motivate. Yeah. Even in in China at that time the living condition is right is not good. Right? What's not good at that time? But how to motivate your internet manager can go there, okay? An establishment and the maintenance of a constant and reasonable relationship between the compensation of the employee of all affiliate, both at home and abroad, okay? Yeah, you need to keep this uh, con consistent, okay? And maintenance of compensation that is reasonable in relation to the practice of the computer, yet minimize cost to the Excellent possible. So at that time, why, why the manager in unit president they don't want to go? <laughs> but yeah, many manager right, can go to China work for uh, Master Kang. You know, you know why? I have vid visit. Uh, Master Kang in 1995. I visit there, and the, their their CEO, his CEO, uh, uh, told me that uh, they encourage county manager uh, not only work there, also move with their family. And they will take care of their family, take care of their family. Yeah. And also, uh, he had this um, mindset because China market increased very rapidly. So one, one manager, one manager can make more profit in China than in Taiwan. Got it? So it's uh, it's sensible, it's sensible, it's reasonable 
for a manager to work in China, right, to get more compensation than uh, anyone work in Taiwan, right? It's, it's sensible because the market grows, market grows, right, very rapidly, okay? Think about the population, right, the population. Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, because the pervasive uh, centralization and localization dilemma also impact compensation and benefit. The reward strategy in MME is generally standardized, standardized, okay, in order to be aligned with the overall strategy objective. While the specific CMB practice tend to be localized to fit the cultural, legal, and taxation context of each specific country. Okay, uh, you mean that? Uh, the basic, right? In the basic, you need to keep the upper level, come and say, upper level uh, executive compensation uh, be uh, consistent, right? Consistent. However, for uh, the low rank of uh, employee and manager, right, you need to uh, uh, consider the local level, right? Localized. For example, in Taiwan, uh, in Taiwan, there are three important, right? Festival. One is the Moon Festival, right? Moon Festival. One is the Dragon Ball, right? Festival. Hey, eh? who have? Oh, so when you come here, right? You had this uh, Moon Festival, right? Moon Festival. But if anyone who can stay one more semester, <laughs> you had a Dragon Ball, right? The Dragon Ball Festival. And also for the China New Year, China New Year, right. China New Year. So these three factors are very important. If the if the both right can have this uh, extra right the extra uh, bonus or extra the uh, payment right for their manager uh, at these uh, three. Read a uh, festival, right? Okay, they will motivate them, motivate them. Extra, it's extra. So, some of the specific uh, CMB practice, right, tend to be localized. You know, because think about it, China New Year, right? Almost every company. We are uh, over at least four months, some ten months. Think about it, ten months the uh, the extra payment for their manager. But your company, right? Your US company don't pay this. Okay, wow, they will think, oh, when I uh, at that time they are uh, ten day vacation, and when I travel. Many, 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 many uh, friends can travel, right? Travel uh, uh, for their vacation, but I cannot, right? So I, maybe. So you know, Japanese company, they don't pay <laughs> for this uh, uh, three festival, okay. So. But in China, Ah, in China, you should think about this. You know, uh, every month you pay an worker, you pay a worker three thousand RMB every month. Now, three thousand in in Suzhou. Right? I just come back from Shanghai in Suzhou, and the CEO tell me every month pays. You at least pay three thousand, three thousand. 
at least three thousand. Local worker? Yeah, local worker. Three thousand. However, the company three thousand go to like the rest go to the worker. But it co this company uh, need to pay four thousand uh, uh forty uh uh four thousand and two hundred let me be. You know why? <laughs> a lot of uh, other benefit. Right? Yeah. In China. In China. Okay, so this uh but think about the twenty years ago. Twenty years twenty years ago. The company maybe on, only pay four hundred for one worker, right? Or no, that time not not so 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 much. Maybe only two hundred for worker. Twenty years ago, but actually, the company need to pay five hundred for one worker. Right? Two only two hundred a month. Wait, wait, go to the director, go to the worker directly. But the other three hundred, where you go? Government, you know, government. At that time, China government are poor, right? It's poor, so he need your tax, right? Your tax and a lot of the, you know, uh, construction fee, because I want to invest the infrastructure, so you. Company want to uh, do business here, manufacturing activity here. You need to pay this. Think about it, right? So every country had their specific situation. Okay. So the global innovation issue and challenge is the uh, comparability. Yeah, comparability. You need to compare, right? To compare, where. Should you set up your manufacturing fact factory, right? Uh, because you need to uh, hire many many employees, okay? And you need to take care of the culture, the culture, different culture in Japan and in USA, right? In USA, I think for a salesperson, his compensation may be higher than his manager. Right? Possible? The sales person had a higher compensation than his uh, manager. Is it possible? No. Yeah. How about in Japan? Probably no. But, right? You cannot. Right? <laughs> because in Japan, the manager should take care of this sales person. Okay. His his responsibility. This uh, collective uh, culture value, right? But in United States, this individual, right? Individual, uh, edistic, individual edistic, edistic culture value. <coughs> totally different. Yeah. And salary benefit ratio. Just as I mentioned to the China situation, right? Uh, the benefit, uh, and, uh, and the tax law. Tax law. Uh, you know why uh, high tech manufacturing industry can be so uh, prosperous in Taiwan? You know, you know, tax law. Tesla. In many high tech companies in Taiwan, five years ago, five years ago, uh, before I think uh, before uh, two two thousand ten, sorry, before two thousand ten, uh, all the engineer they can get the profit share and also the stock option, right? And all this the uh, they don't need to pay the tax. Haha, uh -huh. don't need to pay the tax. But after 2010, okay? 
all the engineer, all the manager, they need to pay tax for their profit sharing, right? Of this stock option, right? Yeah. The sunshine rule and how to express salary, right? Sunshine rule. That is open, right? Open the conversation to uh, the, the individual conversation to everybody, right? For me, it's easy to, to know my, my <laughs> how much I, <laughs> I would pay, right? For all, right? No, one day, the former university president go to check. He, he went to check my annual pay. And he said, oh, how come Professor Zhao get more than me? <laughs> okay, so from that time, he just think about how to <laughs> reduce my pay. <laughs> no. right. Global role of economics, okay? Yep. So, uh, HR must know which benefits are government provided and mandated in each country in which they operate, especially in terms of the severance related benefit. Severe, right? If you, you, you want to uh, discharge, right? You want to lay off the employee okay yeah you need to pay this severance related benefit okay and before 2007 in china if you want to lay off any worker you don't need to pay the severance related benefit but after 2007 the china government asked all the company need to pay this civilians benefit you need to pay okay and the pay time off pay time off yeah social welfare benefit okay uh, critical in the due diligence phase a review of the CMB practice a finding regarding the future pension optimization Hey, think about it. One day you want to acquire one merge, right? You want to merge and acquire one China uh, local company, right? And you uh, hope uh, this company can uh, do the marketing activity for you, right? Oh, you need to be careful. The due diligence, due diligence. You know due diligence? Uh, before you want to acquire a company, you need to check the situation. Uh, the situation, financial situation, HR situation, technology situation, right? Due diligence. You need to check before you want to uh, deal, okay? The very important issue here, yeah, you need to check the review. You need to review the CMB practice. Because many China companies, they had this contract with their executive, with their executive team. Most of them, the, most of them uh, don't need to work, but receive uh, this uh, pay. They don't, they don't need to work, but just receive the pay from the company. If you don't know that, oh, yeah. And even they promise to pay this uh, pension, right? Future pension. You don't know that. So after you acquire the company, and you find, oh, why you don't work? You you don't work and still get a pay. I want to. Ah, <laughs> uh, why? You? I want I want you to go. No, you need to pay. Pay even include the pension of the nation. Wow, think about the executive level, right? You need to pay more. Yeah. Okay. 
uh, a critical step is for global uh, CMB specialists to determine the specific conventional model in each country in which they operate so they can appreciate localize their CMB package. So you want to invest uh, in any specific uh, specific uh, country? Yeah, you need to know what's the local uh, situation in terms of their CMB, okay? Uh, take how about a short break, okay? Uh, 10 minutes and then come back. Yep.